Hi guys, you just don't know how you were saved. I was working on this new journal and I ex had explained how I, it was just when I was going through and working on my other floral journals. If I found anything that was kind of burgundy color, I stuffed it in this um, cover and um, then the struggle began. <laughs> I mean, I showed you a tub of stuff I was going through and I went through that. I was trying to find a decoration for a little bitty journaling card and it just got, my paper trimmers wouldn't cut. So anyway, I thought, well, I'm gonna do the video anyway and then I get up here to stop it and of course, I wasn't recording, so you were saved. But anyway, to back up, this, when I was going through all my flower stuff, gardening stuff, all those pictures and things, and I've had tub after tub after tub, basket after basket. I found a bunch of covers I, of course, of course I had forgotten about. And um, just so I can save myself a little bit, whenever I move, things get really shuffled around. So it's not my fault that the baskets that had all the flower stuff were in like three different places. So that's why I kept finding it. But anyway, I found this cover, and I got it at the um, thrift store, and it held a uh, notepad. I think I've got it here. Nope, is that it? Nope, I had it here. See, we're starting again. Oh my gosh, we're starting again. I'll find it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It had notebook paper in it. And you just, you know, it was a little writing thing, whatever. I'm not sure what they would call it. But it's got these deep pockets. And the sides of the um, book, here it is. It's hiding over here. You've seen this, actually. This is the uh, one I tore pages out of and made the um, file folders. So anyway, it's got cardboard here and cardboard here and these slip up in these um, little pockets here oh, wow. and it holds the booklet in maybe anyway you kind of get the idea it goes in there and on both sides it holds the booklet in when you're done with it you can take it out and put a new one in so anyway ugh, I tore that out I didn't want those right I wanted my own signature pages so that's what I have in here and I will do a flip through with this and I will show you my favorite page of all time I think I love these pockets this was Pam at paper outpost idea basically you take a book page or a piece of something paper and you just glue a bunch of margin margins yes the edges of the book pages that you're not using you just glue them all on there all different ways then you stamp on it you add some little things I got some lace and then you cut it out to uh, pocket size or it could be a journaling card and do the messy stitching around it and I think the colors on this page are just I just love it so anyway I gushed over that for a little bit in that other video and I was trying to make a tag for is it this pocket definitely this pocket Oh, right here. I made this one. It's just a piece of scrapbook paper. And that image is from Artzology. It's her vintage stamps and it's vintage ladies. Artzology. She's on Etsy. Anyway, so I made this little journaling card and that was okay. But it was when I started working on this one, I could not get my cutter to cut the paper. So I ended up making a card and then I couldn't find a focal point for it. So Anyway, I finally got this done. I put it in there and I had cut this out with a deckle scissors. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Maybe more on this side. And those little edges kept catching on this. This is a, from a wedding invitation. It was a whole box of these envelopes and you, somehow you put your invitation down in here. And it was there, you, it's actually a double pocket behind it and inside of it. And it kept catching so I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, that's not working. So I'm flipping through here, and then I found this pocket, which the colors to me are perfect. So huh, it found a home. So there it is. We can forget about it now. But we gotta go back to this pocket. So to save you guys more heartache than you've already gone through, I kind of gathered stuff up so you didn't have to go through all the tubs. So I thought I need rounded corners in here. So I had this piece of scrapbook paper I found in the tub and the colors are great. Cut it to the right size, I hope. It might could have been a little bigger, but it's gonna be kind of a little struggle to get it down in there anyway. So, And I thought that burgundy would be real pretty shiny through there. So, whew. then I saw this piece of scrapbook paper on my desk. I thought, you know, I could kind of put it on top. And then another one, Artzology's Ladies. And I was thinking maybe a word there. I had the word roses just floating around, which, man, eh, it could work. But anyway, let's glue this down and then we'll look real quick very quickly um, to see if we can find a word for there. And if not, we won't put one there. So.
also, I just, oh, it seems like lately I've had a really hard time with my filming. I just want to do it sideways, which I thought was sideways. Ended up finally remembering that my phone was locked so that I was looking at a map and I didn't want it to turn on me. So I locked my phone. Well, that's why my video wouldn't turn. Because I unlocked my phone. So I made the video a second time. This, you haven't seen this video yet. Well, at this, when I'm talking, you haven't. But if you watch this, you'll have seen it. So anyway, um, works. It can't be very big. So these are really too big. And I've got all sorts of stuff. Things I've stamped. Um, things I've cut out. The happiness one might not be too bad. I mean... Anytime I see a word that might work, whether it's from a book, a magazine, or whatever, I'll uh, grab it and put it in my little um, photo album. All right, so let's do happiness. And just a little bit of this ink on there. And we're going to put it there, and we'll hope it fits with all the stuff on it. We'll hope it fits in that um, pocket. Okay. And we'll see. I think the glue is okay. You can see, it's got a, a variety of colors and you can see the girl's face through there, just barely. Okay, that works okay. So let's get rid of this. And, uh, see what's next. Oh, I know what's next, over here. I have a pocket that was made out of um, a book, couple of book pages that I got from a book then I picked the book because it had this mauve colored borders margins <laughs> so I just folded it in different staggering um, lengths or widths or whatever you would call that so it's got three different pockets and I'm not going to make it a pocket on the page because it's not the thickest so anyway I you know was finding stuff to put in there and I found a piece of scrapbook paper and this picture I'm pretty sure it came from Tooks I don't know the rest of the Etsy store, but Tooks. Um, um, Gail mentions her quite a bit. Anyway, I thought it looked pretty, so that goes in there. Then I had just this tag base, and I just put that, I cut out a flower for that pocket I showed you that I told you that was fantastic. So I just put the negative on there. And then I was trying to say, okay, what I want there, it's gotta be smaller. So I had this leftover scrap of paper. I was thinking I could just fold it. I want the, this side. I don't want all this busy pattern. I don't think, we can always change it. Hopefully folding it in half will be about the right size. Yeah, and I'm just gonna nip off the corners. And I have a nifty little thing that does that. So um, it can do small ones or large, large ones. And it just cuts that angle. So, okay, don't let them fall. All right. Of course, I need something to decorate the front of it with, but for now, we'll just put it in there and we'll have it as a place marker. We know we don't need another tag there. Okay. Get this very quickly, and then we'll see. We'll try out both sides and see which one we like. Okay, here's this one. I think it blends in really well, but then I like this one because I think it just really, I think it's better. That's just my opinion. I will try to find something to put on there, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We're going to worry about where to put this thing. And we need to be in the second so, uh, set of, um, side of the signature because I've got quite a bit in the front. And I put this butterfly in the middle and I hope it should stay. It shouldn't tear. I mean, it's and it shouldn't fall out. It's got the center of the signature through there and then the strings go across it. If it would fall or break, then all you have to do is just glue it down. So, But I like the way it's loose in the book. So we got the uh, favorite page, we have that. I found some ruffle when I was digging for stuff. Um, stamping there, I could put it here. on the coffee dyed paper. Oh boy, it's a big one. It's a big page. Hmm, lots of different places I could put it. I think I will put it in the back though because it is so large and I think I'm gonna put it over that because I really did that too dark, you can't write on it. So let's just add this pocket and then you have lots of writing spaces. And of course, 
um, you can add your own tags on journaling cards to these pockets. They can hold more. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to show you what else I found. I have a whole tub. I call it Ladies. And that's because when I was on uh, Artsology's design team, I did something with the vintage ladies, and that's why I had these stamps. Um, so anyway, I just started collecting like Victorian ladies and, and pictures and, and stuff and, and scrapbook paper and just ribbon and everything is in there. So um, now I've got myself sidetracked. Why was I talking about that? Um, so I <laughs> don't remember. So anyway, I got that tub. Yeah, that's my story. Oh, I sure can't remember what I was thinking. I have another tag in here. It's got the burgundy flower on it. Okay, so, oh yeah, one more thing I had. Gosh, man, I think I need to eat. I haven't eaten today. It's going on 2 o'clock. Okay, I found this, these two things in the tub of ladies, and it is a fabric envelope I had made out of a book page, Nancy Drew, and just fabric, and I will always think of these. <laughs> um... For, I don't know, every time I think I see one of these, I will think of that first month, oops, sorry, of um, quarantine in March 2020. Because I sat down at my uh, dining room table with scraps of paper and book pages and made a ton of these um, envelopes. So anyway, sidetracked. Okay, so I got that. Perfect colors. Then I found this um, scrap of uh, wallpaper. I thought that would be a cute little booklet, maybe, just as it is in there. And I really probably should... Uh, let's do the corners with this again. Just nip them off so it's a little different. So it looks like I didn't just cram some old wallpaper in there. Okay, so that's in here. And then um, to decorate the front of it, I usually I decorate the flaps. Um, and it doesn't necessarily keep it closed, but the weight, the book will. So I'm not worried about that. So... I'm just gonna, I had the scrap of lace and the scrap of ruffle, so we're putting it to use. And I think it's just perfect colors, these two. And I had my glue standing up, so now it's gonna give me some trouble. I think I said in the other videos about, if you can hear the people working on their swim pole over there, but I don't think you can hear it. It's not real loud. So they're still working on it. So I put glue all the way on that. I should have just put it on the edge. Okay, put a ruffle on there. It's gonna be a cute little pocket and we already have something in it. Now we have to figure out where it's going to go. So, back signature. We have that and it could go on the, it's gonna have to go sideways. It's just too wide, so that doesn't keep me from using it. It could go there, that's a good place. It could go here. That's even a better place because it's a little bit wider. Let's go there because I don't necessarily like that scrap of paper the best. And I will make it a belly band so something can slip inside there. So, some fabric tack on there. Glue it down. Try to get the lid on everything. And I think we're going to call this a video. I have no idea how long this is. If I go any further, it's going to get to be chaos again. And hopefully I'm recording. Looks like I am. It's a pretty decent link. So anyway, um, next time you see this book, I don't know if I'll be working on it. Or I'll do a flip through. But anyway, either way, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you later. Okay, when I got sidetracked earlier and couldn't remember the, what I was going to tell you, it was that in that a tub of stuff, I found this headband, which was the perfect colors for this. And it's a, uh, not a used one. It's a brand new one. So um, I thought it's too big. I'm going to use it as the closure. It's too big, though, so I can easily hear where the seam's at. Just run another seam, and it will be a perfect expandable closure for this um, journal. Because I was thinking, you know, this journal would be great for... Um, you can take with you because it's soft cover. You can put it in a bag, and that's why I don't have much anything on the front. And um, anyway, that that was the thing I could not remember what to, what it was I was going to say. And then also, I just wanted to show you that I decorated this little bitty tag. Um, it doesn't really have writing space in the middle, but you can write on the back. And 
you could write there if you wanted to. Anyway, book page and just this image I had. So I thought that was good colors and it goes in here. And probably the next time you see this journal, it will be a flip through because I think I'm about done with that. I added a couple more things I didn't show you. So we'll, we'll hold them for the uh, flip through. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Bye.